Hi children, how are you? Hope all you are fine and safe. Last day we discussed MySQL elements, literals, data types, uh, uh, then difference of, of uh, different types of data types, then uh, some SQL syntax, everything we discussed. Then today we are going to discuss about database in my SQL. How we can create tables? For creating tables, we uh, there is a syntax that is create database. Then we if not exist database name. That means you you can see the example create database my DB or create database if not exist my db so we when we give if not exist uh, a new database will create uh, if we didn't give uh, if there is my db database is there then uh, if when we give if not exist the uh, same database will open otherwise when we give the first statement for creating create database my db automatically it rewrite a new database okay then next how we can open a database creating database is not enough before you create tables in it you need to open the database for open the database we are using the command use data uh, use then we can give the database name use my db to check names of database we can use the command show databases okay then next is how we can remove database to remove a database you need to issue a command with following syntax that means drop database then database name example drop database my db when we give this we can delete this database from our memory okay then next is how to create a table for creating tables this is the syntax we were first we want to define the table items syntax is create table table name then column name data type size column name comma then again column name data type size like this we can give the table uh, names then example is create table employee uh, e code this is e code e name sex everything is the uh, columns of the table then e code it is integer then e name it is character if it is character then we want to give the size it is 20 clear then how what is data integrity how we can create table uh, using uh, data integrity through constraints a constraint is a condition or check applicable on a field or set of fields the syntax is create table table name then just like uh, one more thing we will add in that creating table syntax that is column constraint you can see the example create table employee e code the same example which we discussed in the creating table e code integer not null not null means uh, that column must not be contain the empty value that is we are giving the constraint as not null clear then next is 
what are the different types of constraints first one is unique constraint primary key constraint default constraint check constraints foreign key constraint first we can be discuss about unique constraint unique constraint ensures that no two rows have the same value in the specified column example unique constraint applied on e code of the employee table ensures that no rows have the same e code of the value in that uh, table okay next is primary key constraint this constraint declares a column as the primary key of the table this constraint is similar to unique constraint except that the unique constraint can occur multiple times in a table but primary key constraint can only be applied just once in a table but primary uh, sorry the primary keys cannot allow null values thus this constraint must be applicable to columns declared as not null next is default constraint a default value can be specified for a column using the default close when the user does not enter a value for the column automatically the defined default value is inserted in the field uh, next uh, next is check constraint this constraint limits value that can be inserted into a column of a table we can see this example create table employee e code integer not null e name char 20 not null hex char 1 not null gross decimal check gross greater than 2000 in the statement ensures that the value inserted for gross must be greater than 2000 when a check constraint in for what's more than one column for the same table this specified after the columns has been defined uh, i think you understand all things which we discussed today if you have any doubts we can clear it in live session or offline session uh, you must study well then answer the question which we uh, given the test thank you have a nice day